Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Frankie Nuts. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a cool lead synth for a solo in a drop. And I'm gonna show you a little trick in Serum how to make a tremolo fading in into your lead sound. So when you press and you hold the lead sound, it's getting the tremolo afterwards. Let's dive into it. Okay guys, so I made a little uh, melodic dubstep thing. It's really quickly, but just to show you uh, what you can do with the leads. All right, so what I want you to show is you got this lead scene and when you play some quick notes after each other, they're clean. And then when you hold the lead notes, the tremolo will start to affect. Uh, so yeah, how do you do this? Uh, when you open Serum, you can just make a simple lead stack. Uh, so pick some unisons where you have the uh, mono signal in the middle and put the detune quite down make a nice sounding saw like this and then um, the cool thing is the matrix you have to do this in the matrix it, it, as far as I know it's not possible to do it without the matrix um, so first we're gonna make a tremolo so we take source we take uh, LFO1 for instance and the destination should be global master tune and why master tune i mean you can do this like drag your lfo one on semitones or on oscillators or whatever on octave sorry and um the thing is like then you have to drag all of them on both oscillators maybe if you use the sub as well then you know you can't even do that on there so that would be a big fuck up so now um the master tune, uh, it will affect uh, uh, both oscillators, the sub and the noise. So then you could put this on, on like uh, the rate of 116. And when you put it up, you will have your tremolo. It's a bit over the top, so make sure it's about, it's not too much. Something like that. But now it's on the entire time and that's not what we want. So uh, we're gonna take Envelope 2, and here's the magic, it's the AUX source. So you're gonna use AUX source, Envelope 2, and now when you put this attack up, then this ramp up of time will apply the amount of tremolo on your lead. So now when I play it, when it's at the beginning, there's no tremolo. And then when I hold it, it will go up. And there's more and more tremolo. So, um, yeah, this is really cool. You can do this with loads of stuff. So obviously this is just for a lead, but you can do this with bass sounds. You can do this with risers, for instance. When you start up with a riser being slowly, uh, with some slow modulation, and then there's more happening, more happening right before the drop. So this is a really interesting thing. Uh, and then it's just a matter of like making your patch sound cool. So add some oscillators, you know, like get some other wavetables if you like. Um, like like an analog one or something. Um, okay. Just uh, put this down a little bit, and then add your effects like your hyper dimension. Standard stuff, some distortion if you like. Um, compressor, the multi band, basically your OTT. You can do some chorus if you like as well. And then it's just a matter of like adding some extra stuff. Um, by the way, this is a really cool free plugin. I want you to know about this saturation knob from Softube. And uh, it has some. It, it can add some really nice high frequencies. So yeah, I really like this one. Uh, yeah, get some OTT on there. Whatever you like to do. Maybe some reverbs. I do it externally, but you can also do it in Serum if you like. And then eventually, I'll have to copy my MIDI to this channel, you'll have this. Just 
still something isn't quite correct. If I'm... Yeah, you have to set the type to like bipolar, otherwise it will like ramp up. It sounds kind of like a pitch bend thing, but now this way, the it means it's going left and right the, the tremolo instead of from zero going up. So this way it looks like this, but if you do it like that, then it will basically be like this. So this will be zero in pitch and then it will basically just pitch up. But now if you sit on bipolar, then both, you know, it will pitch to both sides. So this is, this is it. So yeah, I, I hope you learned something from this. Um, like I said, don't be afraid to apply this to your bass your ethics, whatever, your riders, you can get some really interesting things out of it and sometimes, you know, it's cool to like fool around with these settings like the type that I've just shown or the mod because you can invert things right here and you can do the curve here so it'll sound different and sometimes you just do something weird, especially with basses and it sounds super cool so uh, don't be afraid to experiment I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video